Hi, my name is Mike with Cram Fighter, and I'm here to show you how to create a six week study schedule for the USMLE Step 1 uh, using Cram Fighter. Uh, Cram Fighter is a study planning service. Uh, we offer a seven day free trial, uh, no credit card required. Uh, if you'd like to take it for a spin yourself, uh, Cram Fighter is designed to save you time and also create a schedule that adapts to change and helps you get back on track if you fall behind. We also offer static Excel um, and PDF versions of sample schedules. So on our website, you can find, for instance, this six-week study schedule. Um, and this is the one we'll be using to base our Cram Fighter schedule on. Um, you can see at the top here the resources we're using, uh, like Pathoma and First Aid 2019, and also UWorld. Um, so with that said, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is choose the exam and also choose the exam date. Uh, since we want to create a six-week schedule, let's choose May 25th as our exam date. The second step is to add study block information. A study block is like a mini schedule within your overall schedule. Uh, so you might create one for the time period during classes and then you might create a dedicated study period. Um, in this example, let's say that our dedicated study period is this six-week time span from April 18th to May 24th. The third step is to choose catch-up days and unscheduled days. Um, and just like in our Excel sheet, we're going to have a catch-up day every second uh, Wednesday. Um, and then you can also add practice exams. And so let's do that. Let's say we're going to take an MBME on mm, April 26th. You can also add unscheduled days like vacation days or free study days. Then you'll have to choose the resources that you'll be using to study. Uh, in our case, that's going to be Pathoma. Scroll down to Pathoma's lecture series here. And we'll select all of them. You can deselect some if you'd like to focus on particular organ systems or subjects. And then we'll also choose First Aid 2019 edition. And suppose in this case, we'll skip the first couple chapters. And then we'll also add UWorld. And we're going to set a daily number of questions. Uh, we could set the total number um, and perhaps let Cram Fighter divvy up how many we need to do each day. Um, but let's say we want to create a 40 question block every day. And if we're happy with the resources we've chosen, we can click continue. At any point, you can go back and add supplemental resources or remove resources that aren't working for you if you like. The fifth step is our sorting options page. Um, we are going to sort by subject, meaning by organ system, but you can also choose to sort by resource and go through a resource cover to cover. Um, you can also change the order uh, that you cover subjects. So you might want to, for instance, prioritize the respiratory system or something like that. And last, you'll choose study hours. Cram Better uses study hours to compare one day to another. Um, so if I set two hours on Tuesday, Cram Fighter will sign half as much work as on Monday. Um, Cram Fighter provides you with a stats box here to see how your workload compares to the student average. Uh, it looks like our workload uh, doesn't raise any red flags, but this box will be highlighted if we were greatly exceeding or um, greatly under the student average. Um, and so that is a signal to you that your schedule could be overwhelming or overly ambitious, uh, which can help you manage your workload. So we'll click save and we'll just take a look at our study block summary. Um, everything looks to be in order. 
uh, if we were creating multiple study blocks, um, like uh, uh, a study block for during classes and a dedicated period, or maybe a study block that runs in parallel and gives us some tasks from Sketchy Medical, we could do that. Um, and we could do that by clicking Add Another Study Block here. You could also add another exam, like the Comlex Level 1. Or if you're an M3, you might add your shelf exams and Step 2. But in our case, we're just going to use this uh, one study block, a six-week study block, to study for the exam. And we'll click Finish and View Schedule. And now you can see what you need to do each day uh, in order to complete everything by... May 24th. Um, so you can see it just takes a few minutes to figure out what you need to do every day. Um, doing this by hand or with Excel could be a time-consuming process, but Cramfighter is going to save you that time. Um, and in addition, Cramfighter is going to be adaptable to change. So if you experience an unexpected interruption in your schedule, some tasks will become overdue, and you'll have the option to click Edit and rebalance your schedule. And what that does is it redistributes overdue tasks over the rest of your schedule so you don't have to manually figure out how to catch back up. So if you're happy with your schedule, you can start checking things off um, and studying throughout the day. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at contact at cramfighter.com and feel free to sign up for a seven-day free trial at cramfighter.com. Uh, no credit card required, and you can get a sense um, for a seven-day period of what your workload would be uh, as you prepare for the boards.